This is the um, gilded bronze effigy that, of course, is at Westminster Abbey. Um, you can't really see it because, of course, it, it, it's high up. If you do want to gawk at this, then you can go to the um, cast room at, um, um, at the V&A, where the sort of whole family has been assembled. Um, but this is sculpted in 1290 by um, a John Torrell. So it's made during the reign of um, Edward I at the same time that Edward I is making the tomb for Eleanor of Castile. So not a great likeness, but we do have one written account which describes Henry of medium height and medium build, dark hair, dark eyes. And the only slight negative is it says that one of his eyelids was slightly drooping, um, so sort of slightly covering um, his eye. Um, whether you're meant to sort of make anything about that in terms of his character, I'm not entirely sure. Um, usually during this period, if someone was described as being sort of good-looking or beautiful, that was as much a comment on their character as it was a comment on their um, physical appearance. So the drooping eyelid might be a sort of slight dig at his um, character, but that, that's all we, all we have, so not much to go on. Um, we do, I suppose, know his height. I think it was about sort of 5'9 or something, and we simply know that from the measurements of his... Um, of his tomb. But of course the coffin of the king was never opened um, because Victoria didn't allow it. So we don't sort of know too much 